don't made like, the decision. I, I, I feel a little, it's not uncomfortable, but the way you're talking about Christmas all mm. the time. Um, yeah. Where's, like, what, four weeks ago, I didn't think I'd see Christmas. That's how real this is, you know, for me at this stage. I, like I spoke to my oncologist when I made the decision not to have any more chemotherapy. Uh, I mean, I think he was hoping I'd have a few more sessions. And I just said, no, I'm not doing this to my kids. I'm not doing this to myself. You know, at this stage, you know, I've been fighting this terminal part of the disease since 2018. This is my fourth line of treatment. <sighs> Most people don't get to four lines of treatment. You know, they might get to three lines. But when you get to four lines of treatment, what that means is this is my fourth time trying something different. I, I, There's nothing they can do for you, you know. So I, I just thought, no, I'm not doing this. I can't do this anymore. So I, I'm just on Pembro. So I, I just decided no more chemo. I'll take Pembro and hopefully that'll keep me going till Christmas. But who knows? I mean, at the moment, I feel well. Um, and I had Pembro last Monday. The, and look at me. I mean, I've been fine since. So to me, that's, that's what I want, this quality of life, not what I had. What sort of conversations can you have with, with the kids, Vicky? Or do you, do you talk... Do you shoot straight? Do you? Yeah. That's your, I know that's your style. Yeah, that's my style. Yeah. I mean, you've got <laughs> yeah. Dara and Amelia. She, she, Amelia's what, 16? Amelia's 16 now. Um, and are the conversations... They're tough conversations. Yeah. But, <laughs> and I think that's why I wanted to come on tonight, I think, because I've had so many messages from people after I put one up my post, you know, just to say that... Because I knew people, my, God love my poor father, he reads every message that comes in, you know, and he said, and he's, he's always kind of, you know, because he knows what I'm like, I could bite the head off him. So he said to me, you know, I think you should put up a message now, or, you know, you're feeling a bit better now, you know, everyone's worried about you. And I said, what, they think I'm dead? And he said, well, you know. <laughs> so I said, okay, right, I'll put one up. So, you know, I did put up the post, yeah. I felt better, and I thought, okay, you know, yeah, I needed to do it. And like the flood of messages that I got in from people, who said to me, you know, I admire what you're doing. Uh, one woman really stuck with me. She told me her, she was 10 when her mother died, so the same age as what my son is now, and that was yeah. why it stuck with me. And she said, I remember, she said, all I have, she said, of my mother, memories of my mother, she said, of her being thrown in bed, sick and suffering. She said, I think what you're doing is so brave. She said, I would rather have had a shorter time with my mother, but more quality. And I just think, you know, those kind of messages to me really validate what I'm doing. And I think, for me, it's the right thing. I know it's not for everybody, but... For me, I just think, no, um, I would rather my children have memories of doing stuff with me. And if I go sooner, so be it. But, you know, 